Good morning and welcome to Daily Impact. I am Jemi Grisman Adulaju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Salmon the UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria. We have been looking at Romans chapter number 14, verses 17 and 18. For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. For he who serves Christ in these things is acceptable to God and approved by men. The three characteristics of the kingdom of God, righteousness, which we described as right standing with God, uh, which is imputed righteousness, and right doing, that which is right living. We want to begin to look at the second characteristic of the kingdom, which is peace. I'd like us to read this morning from the book of Kings, 1 Kings chapter number 5, verses 3 and 4. 1 Kings chapter 5, verses 3 and 4. King Solomon had sent a message to Hiram, king of Tyre, saying, You know how my father David could not build a house for the name of the Lord his God, because of the wars which were fought against him on every side until the Lord put his foes under the soles of his feet. But now the Lord my God hath given me rest on every side. There is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. May the Lord give you rest on every side. Amen. One great factor for progress and advancement in life is peace. And peace is one of the cardinal benefits and characteristics of the kingdom of God. You cannot be in the kingdom of God and not have peace. It is a cardinal evidence that you are part of the kingdom of God. Peace, the peace that passeth all understanding, the peace of God that passeth all understanding. What is this peace? Number one, peace. Is a state of settled assurance that God is in charge. Everyone in the kingdom of God has this settled assurance that God is in charge of his life and of his destiny. Only God gives this peace, a settled assurance that God is in charge. It is not an absence of challenges, but calmness and assurance in spite and in the face of challenges. Peace does not indicate a challenge-free life. Rather, it indicates calmness and assurance in the face of those challenges. Peace is also not being moved by the circumstances of life. When you are not moved by negative events, the vicissitudes of life, or other untoward circumstances, peace is not moved, is unruffled by those circumstances. That is peace. What is peace? Peace is also calm in the storms of life. In the face of the storms of life, when a man is calm, he is said to have peace. Only God keeps a man in such a situation. A reminder of the words of the Lord Jesus, that in this world you will have tribulation, you will have storms, but be of good cheers, because I have overcome the world. A man of peace. That is a man who is the kingdom of God, is daily reminded and is assured of whom and whose he is. And so he has peace in the face of the storms that may be beating against his life. He is assured that because he's built uh, on a solid foundation, which is Christ, no matter the level of the intensity of the storm, it cannot pull down his life, house or destiny. What is peace? Peace. Is trusting God when you cannot trace Him. Trusting God when you cannot trace God. That is peace. A trust when it cannot trace. What is peace? It is the absence of worry and anxiety. In Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. The scripture says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything. By prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. The peace of God 
We got your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So peace, the peace of God, which passes all understanding. Note, dear listener, that worry or anxiety does not empty tomorrow of its sorrows. It empties today of its strength. And so a man of peace does not worry, uh, is not anxious about tomorrow or the unknown. Finally, peace is rest. Solomon said, my father could not build because of the many wars that surrounded him. But now God has given me rest. Don't ever forget, progress is difficult, if not impossible, in the absence of peace. Let us pray. May the Lord keep you in perfect peace as your mind stays on him. May the Lord put an end to every war or battle around your life and destiny. Grace to go forward, grace to build and prosper is imparted to you now in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Join us for a glorious service on Sunday at our Ologweru Worship Center at YY Event Center, Tipa Bus Stop, LALA Ido Erua Road. Ibadan. If you are in Ring Road, you can join us for a glorious service at 101 MKO Abiola Way, opposite Move 21, Ring Road, Ibadan. Time for the service in each of these centers is 9 a.m. The Lord bless you as you attend. Till I come your way again tomorrow morning for another exciting edition of our program. I am here, me, Chris Man Abduloji, wishing you a very glorious day. The Lord bless you.